hello this is a test I'm recording with Vorco screen I'm currently installing or at least trying to install OBS studio on my Linux distribution and I guess I will be successful because I have already added the required repositories where this software this piece of software is available okay downloading some dependencies first like embed TLS and logit OBS studio libs and x264 a part which is probably used for encoding software okay now it is installed and the interesting thing is that this beautiful software was only 5.3 megabytes in size. Let's start at OBS. So this is going to be my preferred software for recording my desktop as of now. Would you like to run the auto configuration? Yes. Come on, what happened? Optimize for streaming. Recording is secondary. Optimize for recording I will not be streaming okay that's what I want who's current either 60 or 30 frames per second but prefer 60 when possible who's current the canvas resolution is not necessarily the same as the resolution you will stream or record with your actual stream recording resolution may be scaled down from a canvas resolution to reduce resource usage or bitrate requirements next testing recording encoder this may take a minute currently the resolution it uses is 853 which is very low 853 times 480 I'm going to change it later on settings okay let's also change some settings for example I will only be recording in mono because my hardware is a mono microphone is recording in mono so I will not be using stereo if I record in stereo, my sound will come from just one side of the environment, from the left or right speaker, which is not uh, necessarily optimal or desired by the user. Okay, now we select the first microphone. We will not be using desktop audio so I will disable it I will only be using my microphone which is this DCM 2902 all right apply this let's make some changes here for the video the resolution I want is just equal to this one just record without the uh, down scaling sharpen scaling sharpen scaling probably this is good quality fastest but blurry scaling I'm not scaling so this is the fastest nice apply this setting as well so we made the required changes for resolution and we also made changes for audio audio device 
and after we restart the software the settings will be fine stream no we have nothing to do about streaming right now we will not be streaming live or something okay the nice thing about this stream uh, this stream part is that I think maybe it's possible to write an API that will be able to interact with this I'm not sure but probably I can write an API for my website for a website where I can interact with the software because it probably uses some contract based communication to interact with those software with those streaming services so probably that's possible and that's not much far from uh, being easy output let's also make some changes for audio FLV I don't like FLV recording the software encoder at a different quality than stream will require extra CPU usage if you stream and record at the same time can I use hardware software low CPU usage preset increases file size okay, no problem with the file size and also let's change this to mp4 mp4 probably has some problems recording save to mp4 or move will be unrecoverable if the file cannot be finalized as a result of the SODs power losses etc if you want to record multiple audio tracks, consider using MKV and remix the recording to MP4 after it is finished. So although I'm going to just record one audio stream, I think the safest way here is to select uh, MKV instead of MP4. I select MKV and what does this what does this say recording with the software encoder at a different quality than the stream where I have specified this high quality medium file size okay this is fine I want high quality also let's change video bitrate to 3000 kilobps because I heard I, uh, I read somewhere that this is uh, the recommended settings for full HD videos also I changed this one audio bitrate to 256 and if what about this enable advanced encoder settings what is this no leave it alone and also save that to videos OBS let's say OBS not that okay you should be fine output load what if we change this output mode for sim from simple to advanced okay if we change it to advanced it becomes this way for recording it becomes what happened probably that's because I don't have that path I have to create it and create their OBS inside my videos directory videos OBS apply it recording format change it to MKV okay audio audio bitrate to 156 
you know, I already made these changes in the simple interface, so probably they are not using a common uh, a common path for saving this this stuff, or probably they will share the, those data after I just start the application. Okay, now we should be fine. Let's exit and restart the app. OBS. Okay. Before we start recording the desktop, we need to add a source. So for source, I'm going to add a screen. Screen capture. Screen capture. This is a little bit new to me. That's because I'm a little bit cautious. I think this is the right one to choose. Screen capture, XSHM. Screen capture, okay. Okay, nice. Screen one, screen two. I don't know why this is three screens are here. But I choose the first one, which is the native resolution of my laptop. Okay. And is that full screen? Yes. There's no scaling needed. Fit to screen. It's already fit to screen. I don't need to make any changes. Now let's start streaming. Uh, sorry. Let's start recording. Start recording. Okay, this is a test page. I'm just watching this page and I'm recording it at the same time. And we will probably be getting a, a decent quality of this page recorded as a video, as a screen capture video. Okay, let's uh, stop for a moment. Let's stop the recording for a moment and check out the result. Sorry, first here, stop it. And see the result. I have it in the OBS directory. So here we have one file. I'm going to play it within in player 2019. That's the only file that is here. Okay, you see that there's a space in the file name. There's a setting in the setup for this application that where you can select not to include spaces in file names and that's pretty cool uh, to choose that setting. I forgot that but you can select it that's he around here. Let's do that. Output. Recording. Yes, generate file name without space. That's better. Back here, play it. You see, this is a video you are seeing, not my desktop. This is the full screen video you're watching. And that's nice, not bad. If I play it with, if I open it with VLC, you will notice this better. Sorry, 2019. Okay, you see? There's also audio in the, uh, there's audio coming from both left and right speakers. Currently, my left and right side of the headphone that I'm using, but you're not hearing it because the source of recording is only from microphone. nice thanks for watching i hope that you find this video useful if you find it please give it a thumbs up and leave your comments down below also hit the uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button for more useful videos which will help hopefully be added frequently thanks